I do try to emphasize that it's the story rather than the history so that they see it as something doable. Because a history, I mean, we got a 125 page book for Broughton, which was a tiny little place. And students can be very intimidated if you tell them you're writing the history. Um, these are always towns for which there is no written history. That is the requirement. One of my favorite things that happens is a student who will have graduated who comes back to see me or chat with me. And a typical comment I get is, I see things differently now. I see the rural community differently. Um, they're driving along the highway and they see an old town sign, you know, population 71. They will turn off that road, they will go to that town, and they'll be telling their parents or their friends or their neighbors, look, I can show you where this stood and where this stood and why the town was built here. And this is likely the place where the first grocery store stood because this is where the crossroads was. They can read the Kansas landscape and in turn, the Kansas landscape becomes dynamic for them. It becomes a place of life again. The thing you won't like about this is I'm not sentimental about Broughton. I like the history, but I have sat back and watched the other little communities disappear as rag, as weed patches and stuff. Broughton went, when it went, it went clean. It was gone. There wasn't any, oh, that's my house I grew up in. I wish it didn't look that way. It wasn't there to be sorry over. Broughton was so wonderful. No, Broughton wasn't wonderful. Broughton had its problems. We didn't, we didn't all, we, oh, we loved each other. No, we didn't love each other. We were all very human. And as I said, I liked the history. We all said, I'm from Broughton. We were all proud of our little jerkwater town. We, you know, we just about had enough people with it for a softball team, but we had a good team. And, and uh, we went to other small towns around Green, Morganville, Oak Hill, Longford. I think we were, we were all on the same level as, as far as economics. We, none of us had a lot of money and we all helped each other. And, and uh, I think it taught me to, you know, that I, I think I've done fairly well for myself, and I, but I've got those, those values from Broughton, I think. When I graduated, I graduated the eighth grade in 1939, we were very poor, the depression had settled in, and there was no way that I was gonna to get to go to high school. Uh, the elevator provided, even though we weren't very old, but it provided uh, in the summertime and harvest time, and they always let us work there. And and, uh, and uh, Joe Haney, Kathy's dad, uh, he always found something for us to do, uh, even if it was just enough to buy candy and pop or something like. <laughs> but and we we did we had a little garden tractor. We went around and plowed gardens and and took care of gardens and yards and stuff like that in town. And so we made for a few extra dollars. In those days, they let you teach right out of high school. Really? Yeah. <laughs> $45 a month. Good money. Glad to get it. <laughs> uh, when she, my mother died, Dad had seven kids at home. And then the older ones, one by one, as they could find work, they went out to work uh, in the homes, or the boys did the uh, farm work as soon as they could to help uh, raise money for their own expenses and so forth. I have uh, I have a few pieces of glassware that are souvenirs of Broughton and and then I have uh, trade tokens. I have about eight or ten of those that are from stores that were in Broughton probably back in the 20s, 20s and 30s. The one thing I want to keep is my teddy bear. I got my teddy bear in 1943 for Christmas because there weren't any dolls available. And Teddy was loved till he's nothing. Well, you can still, you can still get a kid on him and pull him around by the ears. But Teddy was the, if, I think if I had to grab something in a fire, I'd probably grab a teddy bear. Now that's the dumbest thing you ever heard. One of the things that all of us growing up, uh, we all, Turned out to be fairly good citizens from Broughton, I thought. <laughs> you can't go to your home. I think you can go back to the area where Broughton was, but you can't go back to your home because it's, it's no longer there. Oh, I'm, I guess home is where I go every night. No matter where I am during the daytime, 
I want to go home at night. It's nice to visit other places, but I want to go home where my clothes are. <laughs> uh, definition of home, I kept trying to think about that one. You can't go home. You do in your dreams.